All right, I got some exciting news to share with all of you. Brand new website. Heat Street has officially launched its own by our sister company, News Corp. It's a news, opinion, and commentary website. It's terrific. You got to check it out. Joining me right now is Louise Mensch from Heat Street. She is also a former member of the British Parliament. Uh, Louise, tell us about the site. Well, it's, it's, we hope it's new and it's different. It's a little punky. Um, it's neither completely right nor completely left. Maybe it's a little libertarian, somewhere in the middle, uh, and challenging that political correctness, challenging so that liberal of orthodoxy. That? So uh, we had a great story out yesterday that was picked up by Drudge, for example, and how most of the Pulitzer Prize nominees had put out journalism that was criticizing law enforcement and going against our cops. We noticed that, so we picked them up on it, and that does a lot of take-up. We have a story today about Mizzou, the protests at that university, and how white students felt very threatened. Mm -hmm. We've got those internal emails. So these are the kinds of fun stories that we like to break. And there are the stories challenge. that you don't see everywhere else. I think that's an important part of this. Yeah, we're trying. Well, listen, it, we, there, there is Fox News. We, we can't be Fox News. But we and are, Fox Business. <laughs> and that's Fox Business. And we are hoping, however, maybe in the same way that you guys challenge the orthodoxy on TV, to challenge it in the blogosphere. Because really, you can either be very, very conservative, maybe old-fashioned right-wing, or very, very left-wing like the Huffington Post. And we think maybe there's space in the middle. So for some common sense. Right? A little bit of time with that. <laughs> um, you just had a big interview with former governor of I California, sure Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm. um, what's he thinking politically these days? Uh, governor Schwarzenegger supports John Kasich for the presidency, and of course, he is the most recent gubernatorial endorsement. Uh, he's maybe a little bit more of a sexier, funkier political endorsement. We saw uh -huh. Governor Sandoval of Nevada come out and support him recently, and a surge in the polls. So, this is interesting, kind of, because. But, but did you ever, I mean, like, you know, look, let's be honest. Governor Kasich doesn't have a shot. There's no path to the nomination. He hasn't got enough delegates at oh, this well, point. Oh, no, there is, because no one's going to get 1237. I think there's a really clear path to John Kasich and a lot of other people. This, uh, this eight-state rule, you know, this is only one election old, and it can be changed by the delegates So you think on they'll the drop that? Is, uh, are Schwarzenegger hoping that they drop that rule? I think everyone is expecting that they're going to drop it. Yeah, um, let's, it's uh, one election old. We've got some sound from your interview with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Here he is telling Louise why he's all in for Kasich. Watch. It's a guy like that that has the experience and that is able to bring Democrats and Republicans together. That's the kind of a guy that I would like to see in the White House. I said to, to Kasich, I said, John, I said, I just want you to do the same thing as done for Ohio. If you can do this on the national level for the United States, I say we are home free. You know, California is a biggie. Um, Trump really needs to be able to take California, if he's going to have that path to 1237. Um, how influential is Governor Schwarzenegger now in California, and how much does that Kasich endorsement mean? Oh, I think it means a lot in general, because obviously, as you point out, Kasich cannot get to 1237. Mathematically, it is impossible. So Governor Schwarzenegger and this team are looking at a contested convention. Now, Schwarzenegger like Kasich, is a Republican that can win in a Democratic state. There's nothing more Democratic than California. Another governor of California who did quite well was Ronald Reagan. And I guess Schwarzenegger is pointing out that John Kasich, in a national level, he crushes Hillary Clinton, 51% to 39, whereas Donald Trump gets crushed by Hillary Clinton. And that's the argument they're going to make on the convention floor. Okay, so you guys didn't just talk politics, though. He, no. he talked a little bit about uh, that um, <clears throat> bod that he's got uh, oh. and how he maintains it, how he does it. That is did amazing. you pick up any tips? Well, he told me. You that did. Look at you. Look at him. I know it's amazing. <laughs> Look at him. I mean, I just, I, you know, it's difficult to take my eyes off him. This guy, he said this is the conservative workout, and he is 68 years old, and his biceps wow. are the size of melons. So, you know, if you're going to get the Terminator to, to, to train you a little bit in the gym. Um, Some I'm, pressure. It was, it was <laughs> unbelievably fun. I got to say, I never met anybody that loves life more did, than did, did he, did, How much does he bench press? I couldn't even quantify. Not as much as you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have very tiny, light, tiny baby weights. But, um, you know. He works out every day? Every single day. He drives down day. And what's great about him is he works out in the same gym that he's been working out in for the last 40 years. And he'll talk to anybody. You know, I think it's a lesson that you've got to have fun in your life. And he doesn't intend to stop having fun. Well, Louise, thank you. Congratulations. Have fun with the new site. We'll see you right back here to talk about all these great stories. Thank you so much.